Ross. Uh, four poles, a, a shortish par four. Measures at 320 yards off the back tee. Uh, we stood here on the standard tee, which measures about 290 to 300 yards, depending on where we put the tee blocks. Um, quite a simplistic par four off the tee. We've got a, a slope down the right-hand side that leads into the treeing area. We've actually sloped it using the landfill off the left-hand side. Bit of rough, bit of trees up there. Um, so any pulled shots may be in a bit of thick rough. I'm going to hit a shot off the, the fourth tee. Uh, my target is a bunker, uh, very central in the middle of the fairway. Measures at about 200 yards. So I'm just going to hit a, a long iron. I'm try and leave myself as far down as I can because when we get down there, you'll actually see that the landfill has been built up and then drops down to the green. So the further I get down there, the easier my second shot is. Uh, my key area is to avoid the bunker in the centre of the fairway. My other key area is to avoid the trees on the right-hand side. So what we're going to do is just play a shot and see where we end up. So we've hit the fairway here, quite happy with my tee shot after hitting a four iron. Left myself about 95 yards to the centre of the green. Uh, one of the dangers I was saying about on the tee is the bunkers here. So just show you some of the bunkers we've got here at the moment. Uh, this is going to be quite a deep fairway bunker. We put all the irrigation and the drainage into the bunker so far, but one of our major projects over the next four to five months is to do 55 bunkers on the golf course. One of our targets is to put in as white a sand as we possibly can so when you're hitting your tee shot you can actually locate all the bunkers and see the bunkers from the tee which I think is going to be very very important to make the golf course look as best as it can. As you can see we're quite low down in a dip here I can't see the green so I'm going to be relying on a, a tall flag that we're going to put in onto the green if not I'll be able to pick out one of the trees at the back of the green so we've surrounded the back of this green with trees Imperative I pick the right club, I've gone with a sand wedge. We've got a very large pot bunker at the front of the green, which I want to avoid, but I also don't want to go too long. Uh, another bunker we've got off the tee for the longer hitters is just to the right over there in the background. Um, measures about 250 yards, so any guys thinking they can hit a driver off the tee might be a little bit cautious of that bunker. So we're going to play a second shot in and hopefully see if we can hit the green. <laughs> 